Hi, just a quick video on my new Enphase reinstallation of my, uh, just my Enphase system. Still haven't got the DI uh, system inverted, where I put all 14 uh, of my 370 watt panels back, my LG panels, with the 295 watt uh, Enphase IQ 7 Plus micro inverters. And this is the array here. They still haven't uh, taken, this is the actual layout of the array here. I've now got uh, six horizontal on the eastern roof here. This is my roof panel peak and I've got uh, eight uh, panels here on the western side so north is about bottom left down there and sets in the west so as you can see this is my daily production for this one day and as you can see this is my first uh, installation day absolutely perfect not a single cloud in the sky not a single drop out look at this uh i first started getting production at about 7 45 a.m there and look at this nice almost linear slope there because i now have those panels on the eastern side which catches uh, that morning sun but of course it's winter here in australia because the earth is round um and it's just past uh winter solstice i think like last week so it's basically um the sun's as shallow uh, as it gets in the sky here in Sydney and it peaked around about uh, 12 p.m. there so midday there you go and it died at just on four o'clock boom and a rapid uh, descent there because the sun was setting behind their houses which are higher up and the shadow comes over very rapidly but uh, yeah because my previous installation of these Enphase uh, panels though all I had all 14 Hor uh, all 14 on uh, the western side here so they only got the afternoon sun so it started much earlier and I had my older three kilowatt system on the uh, eastern side which was catching the morning sun but here you go so this is exactly what you'd expect so we've got a perfect day Mwah. beautiful um, and uh, we produce not quite oh yeah look 500 511 watt hours so there you go let's just you know say 500 watt hours there on the e each eastern side uh, panel so this is watt hours so this is uh, energy over time in this particular case the entire uh, day or the solar production day because you're not going to get any more out of it so obviously so we got like two and a half times more out of the ones on the western roof here which is what uh, you'd expect because north isn't directly here if it was you'd have like probably even distribution across the panel so north is like down here uh, somewhere so yeah uh, you're going to have more time um, on these panels on the western uh, side here so that's why we originally had them on the uh, western side because that is our most efficient uh, side but uh, of course um, I've got the another seven panels below this which, which will go into the DI never seven panels above which will go into the DI as well um, and that's basically we've pretty much maxed out the roof although I was just talking about this on uh, Twitter and the forum today I could possibly squeeze and uh, well I definitely can put another end phase panel here and maybe another one just under my shoulder here down here somewhere <laughs> um, so yeah I could maybe squeeze in an extra two and it's I ran the numbers so it's financially worth it to actually uh, pay to have two extra panels are uh, installed on the eastern side here um, I don't have any roof space on the western side but anyway I just wanted to show you that um, perfect production curve and uh, this is my hot water um, here because it's winter it's drawing about a kilowatt there a smidgen under a kilowatt on average or uh, I think um, and it went for um, I got it turned on for 10 a.m. So that's probably too late. So I need to turn that on a bit earlier. I need to set the timer on that to turn on at about 9 a.m. I think instead of 10. Uh, and because that does overlap with my pool here. So that doubles uh, the consumption. So if I turn on my consumed, you can see that the consumed is the purple one there and it jumps up. And I don't want that. I don't want these things uh, that are drawing power to overlap because that means I don't have as much um, excess power above, which I can use to charge uh, the EV, which we didn't uh, do today. I just did it midnight last night. Um, I was <laughs> pretty desperate for some power so I plugged it in uh, over there. So midday here was peak uh, power which is 2.23 kilowatts you can see that there. Um, now I've got a nominal uh, 5 kilowatt uh, system well 370 watts times 14 I, th I think that's just over 5 um, but of course I've only got 295 watt micro inverters so 14 times so 295 is uh, 4.13 kilowatts according to the confuser here um, so 4.1 uh, 
kilowatts, but because it's winter time, I'm not going to achieve that. And I haven't cleaned uh, the panels off here. Um, so maybe that's why there's some discrepancy here. Maybe, I don't know, want to, you know, yeah, have to wipe them off. But I generally find that dirt doesn't cause like a measurable uh, change in them, really. I basically don't clean my panels. I just let the rain like actually uh, uh, wipe them uh, clean. does a reasonable um, job. But yeah, I really find it hard to try and measure any performance degradation uh, for dirty uh, panels because it just doesn't get that filthy dirty. So I'm getting like maybe uh, only 60% there or thereabouts, uh, roughly, of what uh, my panels are capable of, of. But that's what you'd expect in winter. I don't know what the solar insulation is today. That can vary by, you know, 10% or something like that. You know, that's basically what you'd expect. But in summertime, I'll get like 4.1 kilowatts peak out of this thing and <laughs> no worries but of course once i get uh the 14 new uh 415 watt panels installed with my di's well they're installed but once i get them hooked up to my di inverter um of course this will get added onto my solar analytics thing and i'll have you know 10 kilowatts in summer um or thereabouts of or no, i think it's nine and a half kilowatts peak uh power in summer capability anyway. So the green one there is my pool. So yeah, I need to, like this is a really good tool to see how I can tweak the times there. So even in winter, so in uh, summer, the sun's gonna come up uh, even earlier, um, of, of course. So I, you know, if I move my pool timer back to 9 a.m. Uh, a pro and move the um, pool timer back by half an hour or something like that, I should be able to nicely fit in uh, the pool and the hot water into there um, and fully power those. So I basically get free heat pump hot water because uh, I've done a video on storm the heat pump and uh, the free uh, pool pump. This is not the pool heater. This is just the uh, pool pump. It's winter time. We're not swimming in it. We just have the pool pump come on for two hours a day, generates the uh, chlorine from the salt water and just keeps it filtered and stuff like that. Actually keeps it all uh, clean. Yeah, I can fit both of those in there just nicely. Uh, and by the way, in summertime, I've done a video on this, uh, my heat pump hot water it only stays on for like uh, two hours or something. Although um, I, the other day I saw it and it only turned on for three hours. I did actually take a long hot bath last night, so maybe that's why it's taken four hours <laughs> today to heat back up the uh, 400 litre hot water tank there. But anyway, I mean, I'll shift that uh, timer back there to probably 9am and yeah, Bob's your uncle. That'll fit in there sweet. Now I'm trying to find a good day here back in June last year. So a similar time. Well, that one's not bad. That one's not bad. And you can see we didn't have the pool back then, but we had the heat pump back then. And yeah, it stayed on for a shorter uh, period then. So yeah, having that bath draining all that uh, hot water makes a difference. But uh, yeah, there you go. So, but of course that was with my entire installation last time. That was with the Enphase system and my old three kilowatt system. So I was only getting four kilowatts uh, peak there. So can I find a good day? So that's uh, June, 10th of June, 2023. There you go. We had a uh, perfect day there. But of course, this was a different panel arrangement with the old three kilowatt uh, Enphase system there. So once again, reach peak around midday. But you can see that uh, it's a bit higgledy-piggledy over here. Um, but of course, my neighbors have really big uh, trees next door. So it's, you know, it's things have uh, like uh, changed a bit there um, in terms of the physical uh, layout there. So yeah, that's going to make a difference. But this is the combined um, 14 panel end phase system, but those end phase ones didn't come on uh, and kick in. As I said, they're on the western uh, side roof there, but look at this, it drops, drops off much quicker there. And so it extends out much nicer now. Nice. But the uh, DI uh, inverter panels, which are physically below these end phase panels, because the end phase ones are right on the peak of the roof there. Uh, so the DI ones will be going on the bottom. So they'll actually be shaded first in the afternoon. And they will also uh, be shaded more in the morning uh, as well, because they're lower, shallower down on the uh, roof. But them's the breaks. You have to work with what you've got. Um, our house is oriented in a certain location. Our neighbors have trees in certain positions and certain height and neighbors houses are up uphill and they have like double story houses and stuff, which, you know, everything, uh, you know, uh, you've just got to work with what you've got. I mean, we could put panels on the front of the house, but that's not Mrs. E. Vlog approved. So she wants them hidden on the sides uh, here. Technically, we do have a, we've got a front facing uh, part of the house over here, but it wouldn't look good. 
even I agree it wouldn't look good. I'm happy to have the panels here uh, and they work quite well. So there you go. So there you have it. That's just my uh, future reference. I'll come back and do this again in summertime and also when I've got the other uh, system uh, installed, which hopefully, I don't know, another week maybe or something like that, I'll have the DI system installed. Um, but this is for my reference and for anyone interested. So there you have it. That's it. If you're interested in this sort of uh, solar stuff, please give it a big thumbs up. I'll keep giving you updates and uh, stuff like that. But yeah, it's nice to have these tools to monitor uh, this sort of uh, stuff. So yeah, these ones over here um, aren't producing nearly as much as the ones on this side, but you get what you get and you don't get upset. And I already had them, so they're already putting them back. So I might as well put them back and get some energy out of these uh, on the morning uh, sun. And that's, I really like that curve. That's really, look at that. Look at that pornographic except for the drop off at the end bit of a bummer anyway catch you next time